Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about pizza burgers. To get started here, we're just going to throw a frozen pre-formed patty on the grill. Let that grow for a little while. Actually, this particular one has uh, cheese and bacon already incorporated in it. So that's going to be an interesting thing. The, inter the uh, inspiration today for the pizza burgers comes from one of my Facebook friends, uh, James Herbie McCain from Ashland, Ohio. And he had posted a picture of a pizza burger that he had gotten from, I think, a place called Slicks. And it looked really good, so I asked him what was in it. And he sent it just uh, pepperoni, uh, mozzarella cheese, and pizza sauce on top of the burger. So I thought, oh, that sounds pretty good, but I think we can do a little bit more than that. What do you think? Make it look even better. And his is, of course, on a hamburger bun, and I'm going to do mine actually on a potato hot dog roll. Make it a little bit different. First, we're going to start with some good pizza sauce. Slather that on the bun. I love pizzas and I love burgers, so this has got to, got to be pretty good. Use pizza sauce on both sides. This particular one from Safeway, no particular flavor or anything, just a regular pizza sauce. Looks like it's got some onions, a few other things in it. And I like my burgers medium rare anyway, if even that far. So I'm going to not do this all the way. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. All right, and you said, of course, you put pepperoni on there, which, obviously, it's got to go on a pizza burger. I don't know about you, but I love eating pepperoni just like this. Some good stuff. All right, we're just going to put a double layer here. I don't know about you, but I love black olives on my pizza. So I'm going to be putting some black olives on here also. Of course, you can customize these any way you want. Since I'm using a big potato hot dog bun, I don't know if I'm going to leave the patty whole or if I'm going to cut it. I'm not sure yet. And I also like bell peppers on my pizza. So I'll be putting bell peppers on my pizza burger. I love bell peppers just raw like this also. This was taken right out of my garden about a half an hour ago. Nothing better than fresh bell peppers. And also, I've never ordered a pizza without putting mushrooms on it. So, a pile of mushrooms on there also. What do you think? Think it's going to be good? I said I like my burgers medium rare anyway. And after we pull that off of there, then we'll put some mozzarella cheese on the top. And I need some more recipe ideas. I'm out of, out of ideas on there, especially ones that involve uh, tomatoes. I've got tons of tomatoes on my vines out here ripening right now. I don't know if you can see any, it's kind of shaded back there right now, but I've got them ripening like crazy. So any kind of tomato recipes you'd like to see, comment and let me know what's up. And like I say, I like my, like my burgers medium rare anyway, if not even a little less than that. Funny, out here, there's a lot of places you can't get your meat medium rare. They're afraid of it. They're afraid of the E. coli scare from several years back. And they still won't cook them less than medium. Some places do, but not all of them. There you are. Plenty good for mine. 
And I think what I'm going to do is cut this dude in half. Oh yeah, good juicy. See what I'm going to do is cut a little more of it off and just kind of set it on there. Slap this on top of it. And now, wrap it tin foil and put it back on there for a pound. You know what I didn't do? I didn't put the mozzarella cheese on it. Glad I caught it right now. on there for to start with. See how sloppy we can get this thing made up. Just about wrapped it without putting the top back on it. Alright. Back on there a little heat up for a second. Like I said, need some more recipe ideas. Anything you can think of. If you can think of anything else to put on your pizza burger, let me know that too. But I think this thing's going to turn out really, really good myself. Quick and easy. I mean, we're talking less than probably five minutes maybe total. And Herbie was saying that the one he had from Slick was really good. Like I said, it only had pepperoni, mozzarella, cheese, and sauce. So hopefully this is going to be even better. Adding the mushrooms and the black olives and the bell peppers. Going there for another minute or so. Look forward to your comments. With what you think about not even this particular one but just the, you know this whole idea in general if you like it and want to keep seeing it tell me what you like about them tell me what you don't like about them any more ideas that you might have well let's see what we got here Probably wasn't on there long enough to heat up, but oh yeah, we're seeing a little gooiness in there, which is what it's all about. That's what I'm talking about here, folks. Slices up without making a total mess out of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now that's a pizza burger, folks. Kirby, let me know what you think. And so, like I say, make some comments. Let me know what you think about these videos and see if it's worth keeping going. So now you can tell your friends and neighbors when you serve them the pizza burgers, les say les bon temps roulés. Let the good times roll. And now I'm getting ready to eat my pizza burger. And that's what I'm talking about.